Portland police say road rage may have sparked a shooting in Selwood that sent one man to the hospital, and they're still searching for the gunman. We know it happened just before 10 o'clock last night near the intersection of Southeast 17th and Umatilla. That's where Emily Burris is live now with more on the investigation. Emily? Hey, good evening, Jennifer Jeff. Yeah, this stretch of Umatilla behind me was blocked off for a couple hours last night as police were searching the area for evidence. They now think that what started or what ended rather as a shooting here with one man shot may have started as a road rage incident. Now investigators are hoping that nearby surveillance video will help to fill in the blanks of who started this and when. Just about any day of the week, this is a busy part of Selwood. I see a lot of inpatient drivers. During the rush hours, it really gets uh, stressful. But late Thursday night, it was a crime scene. Portland police responded to 911 calls about a man who'd been shot in the area. 1820 Southeast Umatilla, a caller saying that he's been shot. We have another caller saying now that they heard one shot. And the patient's going to be a 35 year old male shot in the hip. He's claiming he doesn't know who shot him. But investigators think it was road rage that sparked the confrontation. Now they're digging deeper with the help of neighbors. I happen to see, oh, shooting, and I'm like, boy, that address sounds really familiar. It's very close to me. This morning, Melissa Mattern checked the security camera footage at her meditation studio just up the road. Caught on camera, several drivers and a single shot. You never think you're going to need the camera, but you know, we're in sort of that part of Selwood where there's a little bit more action. Her video and others nearby may now help detectives learn what and who started it all. For now, she hopes it's a lesson for other drivers to take a deep breath. You don't have to let 10 seconds ruin your whole day. Portland police say that victim, the man who was shot, was taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. Today, investigators have not released any new information about the shooter or what vehicle they may have been driving in. Live in Selwood, Emily Burris, Coin Six News. Thanks, Emily. And coming